March is here already. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Gosh, I can't believe we're already into the third month of the year. And with it comes a very slight change in our weather pattern. Still very dry, still leaning drier than average, but more chances of rain this month than we saw last month. So that's one positive for those who need rain. Let's kick off with the animated wind map and the humidity has come back. Um, it's not as hot maybe as it was a few days ago in some places, a lot more cloud cover for northern New Zealand, but that humidity is really you know jumping up. So more cloud, more humidity, warmer weather, it's all coming down out of the subtropics for the country, or at least going to. So the next day or two will be fairly warm, but at the same time, a cold front coming out of Australia's southwest or southeast, I should say, moving in towards us, and that brings a southwest change. There we go. So this is how we look as we go into Tuesday. You can see that colder change moving into the South Island. It brings a burst of rain over on the west coast with heavy falls as well. In fact, over the next seven days, the west coast leans wetter than average. Everyone else is about normal or a little bit drier than normal. So there's a bit of a change. You know, the other day, the whole country was drier than average. We had that actually for a couple of weeks. Now we're starting to see a lot more life up here. And you'll remember a few weeks ago, or at least over the last few weeks, I've been talking a lot about all the wet weather going into Australia. And at some point, that wet easterly would come down to us. Well, that does look possible over the next couple of weeks. We are seeing an increased chance of easterly winds. By the way, speaking of Australia, look at all the rain maps, uh, rain clouds out over the middle of Alice Springs. They've got a low coming down there with a huge amount of rain for that central area. So their weather pattern has changed. High pressure has gone just south of the country for a time. As we get out of summer, the highs often start to slide back north again. So right now we're in a position where we're sort of in late summer, very early autumn. As we head through the week, as we get to Wednesday, high pressure builds in the west, and this is the North Island's chance for a little bit of rain. It may not be very much. Uh, we're talking a mixture of light showers, drizzle patches, and maybe one or two slightly heavier falls where the blue's a bit darker. So this is not a big day of rain. It's simply the leftovers of the front being pushed away quite quickly by a southerly and an incoming high. Don't want to be like negative, but I'm just trying to sort of say there just won't be a huge amount of rain necessarily with that burst of rain. But that's just the first of three. Uh, as we move through the week, we've got more showers lingering around on Thursday. That might actually be better for you than what you had on Wednesday in some locations, especially if we can get a little bit of afternoon heating in there, produce a proper downpour, not just an isolated one. Look at all that rain, Aussie more rain for them. And I know, you know, it, it's a bit painful when we're in drought and I keep talking about that, but I'm doing that on purpose because we were talking about the drought in Australia before we had droughts in New Zealand. Now we're seeing them getting a lot of relief and we are just starting to get some hints of relief. So it looks like we might be following suit. All of these wet easterlies, they are helpful at bringing in this wet weather to northern New Zealand. By Friday, the high pressure system down here sort of expands back, dries out a lot of those showers. So Friday might be a bit cloudy, but not overly wet. And then as we go on towards the weekend, Saturday sees that high pressure system still holding on to the North Island, but not so much in the South Island. And here's our next potential rainmaker. Remember last week I was saying the main headline in March is there are gaps between the highs. So here is high number one and high number two is way off the screen. That leaves this whole area in here vulnerable for rainmakers. So March 9th, March 10 for the North Island, there is some chance of a rainmaker moving in across you and then maybe again around March 13th with showery easterlies. So we are going into a new month we have a slightly uh, different weather pattern. It is still leaning into that slightly drier than average phase, but we are certainly seeing a silver lining on this very dry setup we've had really since the end of last year. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday.